Hello dear friends and welcome to another video. Some people have been asking me about how to make anime GIFs. You know, these sort of like small images that are animated that are very popular on the internet. So I made especially this video for the people who want to learn how to make them. The only thing we need is a video where those images that we want to have in the GIF are. So whether we have it already on our computer or we download it from YouTube, it's important that it's in MPG4 format. I think it's the best that suits Photoshop. And then the other thing we are going to need is basically Photoshop. Okay, so I hope all of you can have your hands on Photoshop. The first thing we'll do in Photoshop is to go to File, Import, Video Frames to Layers. Now we have to select the video. Once we select it, this new window will pop up. In this window, we will select the range that we want to have the Jeep made of. Okay, select range only. Now, if we move the main slider, we see that we can see a preview the whole video. With those other arrows, we are selecting the beginning and the ending of the selection, which is the only thing that's going to be included in the Jeep. Now, if we select time limit to every X amount of uh, frames, it means how choppy our animation is going to be in the GIF. So basically, one will be very smooth and higher values will be chopper. So I'm going to have something like three. Three, four should be fine. And now automatically Photoshop will make all these layers for us. Don't touch them. Don't turn on any visibility of these layers. Don't touch anything. Okay, if you do, you can screw up everything. You go to Window, Timeline. Depending on the version of Photoshop that you have, you may have Animation instead of Timeline. But for my version, it's Timeline. This will give us another window. You see down here where we have all the frames for the Jeep. Basically, those layers that Photoshop created for us are turned into frames. Okay? So basically, Frame 2 is visibility of Layer 2. Frame 3, visibility on for Layer 3, and so on, so on. Okay, so if we click play, we see that it's actually playing, but it's playing very fast, very fast. Okay, so one thing we have to do is select all the frames because we're going to change the speed, shift select. Once we select all the keyframes, we can make click on the little number that appears at the bottom of every frame, and this will make us able to select the different frame rate. Okay, so I'm choosing something different right now and I'm going to change it to something like, uh, oh, different, other, so I can put it manually what is the value that I want. Okay, I click play. Too fast for me, I think like 0, 1 was a fine value. So what I will do is I will select the first frame, go to the last one shift select and all the keyframes will be selected click on that little value and zero one should be fine so i click play yeah it's fine so now how do i save this this is not save by save as we have to go to export save for web and this will open a new window make sure you have selected g Then the number of colors you can select between 128 to 156. The higher the value of colors, the heavier or the bigger the image will be and it will take longer to load on the internet. 128 should be fine. Now we can change the Lucy value. The higher the value, the less quality we have as you can see, so 10% should be fine. Image size, I'm gonna make it half of it, so it's lighter on the internet. And then there's an interesting option down here, the looping one. We can make it to loop one time, no times, and or loop forever. So I'm gonna select forever, then I will save this. And voila, this is what we have so far. 
So as simple as that, we have our GIF. Now here is the tip. You can include text or any modification just by creating a new layer in Photoshop. See, I create a new layer on top of everything. Go to the text tool to write. I'm gonna write uh, something like hello. Change the color to make it more visible on the size. Notice that automatically all the layers have the hello thing, but I move it. Did you notice that I move it at some point? So this is being reflect on the animation. You may say like what? It's like yes, when I created the text, I move it. So I'm gonna show it this way. Just by moving frame by frame, I'm changing the position of the hello over time. So now when I play it, you will see that the hello is being animated. This is a different thing you can do when you make your jibs. I hope you found this tutorial interesting and I hope to see your jibs on the internet very soon. Thank you for watching and see you next video. Bye bye.